Welcome back to more Dead Estate. I'm gonna take regular old Jeff, classic, good old boy, and I'm gonna take him through for like a looped run. There's all these other things. Go play as Fuji, go play as Cordelia. But you know, the, the beauty of a game like this is it's kind of like, you know, set your own tasks. If what I feel that I, I want to challenge myself with next, play around with, learn more about is is actually properly do a loop run, then yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I, I, I plan to play through the game as every character earn their two endings. Spoiler, there's two endings <laughs> for each character. And then beyond that, we can start playing around with different difficulties, achievement hunting. Honestly, it's going to take me so long to achieve any of that or reach that point in this that there will probably be new content that will have been added. And so a game that already easily has something like 50 hours of stuff to do in it, maybe more, is just going to keep getting added to. And my... I, I just love roguelikes. And since I have a vested interest in, in supporting this one, I think it would be a real joy to like share all of my experience with this game. A aim aim to 100% Detestate, slowly over time, and uh, I think uh, that'll be like a fun investment for myself and hopefully it catches on a little bit, you know? I would love, I would easily, so easily become a, a roguelike only channel. <laughs> if I knew the viewership would be there. And I had the time to invest four hours a day in recording, followed by four hours of editing and uploading, which absolutely just putting out like that much video content easily is going to be like a full day's work. It's crazy. It's crazy when you look at people like Retromation, Turtle Melon, Wanderbot, who like upload the amount they do. That is a full time job and then some. Because then you got to be on social media and everything. Allow pots and enemies to sometimes drop flashbangs. Pots and enemies? Okay, interesting. I didn't realize it was both actually. I missed that the last time I had seen that item. Oh yeah, I just love me some roguelikes. And a new one comes out every week it seems at this point. I wanna play them all. But instead, Devastate. <laughs> seems like a, a, a solid choice. Oh, interesting. You have to go pick them up. It's not just a matter of, like, of them just uh, happening automatically. Dropping to 1 HP will damage every enemy in the room. Replaces your bullets with cookies and increases their damage. Yeah, I'm doing it. Take damage from an enemy, marks them for death, so they take more damage. Uh, you get a porcupine quill. You, you, they hurt you. You hurt them back. That makes sense conceptually. Slightly more damage. Oh, not all my bullets are cookies. Yes, they are all cookies. They just flash white for a second. So I thought I thought maybe they weren't all cookies. Well, now, now what I truly want is like an increased fire rate. So I can just go non-stop cookies. Max cookie power. Call me the, gr the girl guide. Girl scout? That's, <laughs> that's the types of synergies I'm looking for at this stage. I don't know what I was thinking doing the challenge room when I did, prior to having any items or anything, but it worked out. Ah. It's nice to know you have that, like, security of an item, like the spiked bracelet, but you know, in a perfect world, I wouldn't get hurt. <laughs> so, there's a part of me that's like, oh, well, I'm not even, I, I'm, I'm never gonna benefit from that. It's not, I don't, I don't need it. Too good. Too good to need it. Yes, obviously, it, it will happen sooner or later. That challenge room, maybe a little ballsy, maybe a little risky. Strength it is. Say, I didn't even bowling ball the challenge room, and I think I could have. I see the screen shakes for chunks taking place. So I'm trying not to waste too much time, but I... Ah, oh, there it is. There was the little outline for a second there. Bone! Spooky scary! <laughs> well, I love that. I'll, I'll bone, I'll bone up the boss real good. And that phrase means exactly what it sounds like it did. No room for innuendo or sexual interpretation there. I'm just gonna 
feed him my big bone. The, the like knockback on this bone is insane actually. Melee weapons are kind of fun and it does like twice the damage of my basic weapon. Although it does have a fairly like slow attack rate. Must earn all gold, maximize income. Come on, I see that one gold coin slowly drifting its way to me. I can do it. Yeah. Yeah, that went really, really well. I don't think there was any other, any other items or upgrades or anything I felt the need to invest in at this stage. Moving on. Next thing. No time to, to dwell. Don't overthink. It's just going to keep reminding me. And I will. Probably after I beat the game with every character. Every other character. Then I'll beat the game with Cordelia. And we'll go from there. I don't know if that was me jumping up into the swinger. Or if it was me jumping on top of the enemy. I think it was jumping on top of the enemy. Earning money is feels a little bit more satisfying when you know you're not instantly losing it the very second, same second you gained it, you know? You know, stay back. I bet I could dispose of that guy quite easily with the melee weapon. A one-on-one -on -one like that, where you have all the, the knockback, it's honestly, like, a pretty effective thing. I, I guess I would have to go clearing these first, so I'm gonna try it. To earn a flashbang to use against the enemies so it just stuns them it does just stun them for oh for like a very extended period a long time he was stunned for I don't know five seconds it was like noticeable for sure syringe gun oh, that just sounds hardcore it's like the needler from Halo except more gross oh yeah but also everything is is still cookies <laughs> I honestly think I would rather have kept the bone. The poison damage isn't that strong. And the contact damage of actually hitting with, with the syringe gun isn't all that good. So I probably would have kept that given the choice. But you gotta pick them up to learn. And well, I'll never know until I try. Oh, it does have very rapid fire rate though. So th that's kind of the trade-off there. All right, if you actually connect and land your hits, then yes, it is It is a good weapon. Shrimp ramen, fire rate and shot speed. Oh, only when you have less than 100 bucks, though. Enemies release salt, which deals damage to other enemies. Oh, I already can't do this. I forgot to pick it up on the first. That'll be something I work towards on a different one. Don't really care about the compass. It, just in case I do end up spending money, it was cheap. It's cheap to buy the ramen. And, you know, I could end up benefiting from it quite a bit. I figured I would just do a spray of damage, apply a bit of poison, and then swap weapons. It's kind of my thinking entering these rooms. With the I, I, limited ammo, yeah. Whatever I'm doing's working. I guess the fire range. Oh, right. I forgot I can just get money if I'm full health. Isn't that supposed to give me money? I couldn't tell if it did, actually. I wasn't paying close enough attention. Uh, so something might be calculated weird with my health, actually. Yeah, Lydia's... The range on her pepper spray sucks. So you really have to get up close, and that's where all that damage ends up happening. It says 1 HP, but you get 20 bucks. <laughs> so, so at least, yeah, con confirmation on that. I've been ignoring some of the hearts, forgetting that there's that bonus if you're, if you're at full health. That was probably part of the Lydia rebalance, I have to think. It was probably better range. I think part of it was that literally just making her projectiles uh, transparent and sometimes showing up like behind the enemies. Because apparently playing as her was just visual chaos. And that's not very helpful. <laughs> I do wish the flashbang broke other pots in the room. Because then you could chain reaction. Like, you find one flashbang, it helps you break every other pot. Maybe that reveals more flashbangs. 
then I wouldn't have to spend time breaking every pot. Satellite strike, chance to fire a huge missile at a randomly selected enemy upon entering a room. Ooh. I bet it won't apply in a challenge room, though, because there won't be anything here. But I really like the concept. I want to see that in action. Perfect. Yeah, line yourselves up for me. Minimum amount of poison to be dealt. <laughs> Cornered. Well, at least the first wave of this room was a was a joke. Made it through that really quickly. This is a room full of relatively high health things that are a pain in the ass to kill. I kind of just need to risk it. I need to get in there if I want to finish this room in time. 25% off and health pickups drop more often. I think it's an either or. It is a both. It's a both situation, which I didn't expect. All right, sick. Cheaper shops, more health drops. I'm golden. What else do I need? I'll run to the shop to put a stop to this. See if there's anything worth buying now that it's a little cheaper. Oh, it might take effect next floor. All right, then nothing. Don't want anything from you. Your item selection was a little lame anyways. And, uh, I, I, feel, I feel as though I might as well like really sweep the floor here. Oh, chunks. How dare you? The flashbang is actually going to be so useful to the, ex to the point that like I honestly might as well try to kill chunks. If I can really take maximum advantage of that. Alright, as long as you kind of bait him into a swing, he's much easier to deal with. Rather than trying to, to let him corner you and then jumping around it. So yeah, this is how I'm going to deal with this guy. <laughs> the risk is so much less than it felt like it had been before. I've seen discussions. In the, in the Steam discussion section about Chunks feels too easy because you can kind of deal with him with that. And then he gives out like this big monetary reward, right? And people say like, well, you know, he should either have no reward and he should only be a stick rather than a carrot. Or he should be made more challenging to dispose of. And then immediately people were like, mm, sounds like you've only ever played the game on normal. <laughs> Apparently, he's way more aggressive and way harder to deal with at higher difficulties. Oh, I didn't realize I had never even found the key yet. So I guess I had no choice but to explore deeper. What do you know? Ain't that a thingy? Probably I'm not going to want one. Oh, cheap-ass grenade launcher, though. That does sound fun. <laughs> sure, I'll give that a, a try. Take me away. Take me home. Country Crystal. Crystal Road maybe makes more sense. I didn't think through it that hard. Either way. So, you know, what do you think of that? What the hell? I ended up wasting time this way, didn't I? I ended up further away. Notably further away. Whoops. The way this uh, floor is quite foggy and everything, it's like notably hard to see secret rooms spawning. I've, I've never been great at identifying them, but man, am I ever not finding them this time around. Oh god, okay, so unless you directly contact, there is like a delay on the grenade launcher. Try to really slide them in there so I can maximize damage before it returns into a stone again. Oh, but then <laughs> these guys are chumps. Not even a concern when they group together like that. Oh, yeah. That's how you really melt through a boss. See, there's the, the flickering kind of happening. Something's going fishy with the elevator there since the latest patch. Like the little seat he takes. Tired old man. Maybe everyone sits. But I like the idea that Jeff specifically is like, Ugh, no, I'm taking a break. Keep pushing forward. 
Thank you, self-help motivational technique guru. That stupid pot that is always in that corner of this room that's weirdly hard to get at. And I don't want to ever jump right at it because I'm scared I'm going to unveil. Oh, perfect. Oh god, these things don't get flashbanged. Ah! They kind of do, but they don't. The way their pathing is programmed must must work differently than like other enemy types. Yeah, but I'm scared to jump too close to that pot, lest I reveal a leech and take a stupid damage. Oh, the, well, there, there was my um, whatever it's called, the random missile strike. Do I not jump high or something? Jeff specifically has like a worse jump than other characters. I, I couldn't jump high enough to attack that thing. That is a real chance that there are differences in uh, like jump abilities and stats. Oh, secret room. Grenade launcher. I didn't really mean to pick it up, but it's fine. It's like literally already what I had. Now I just basically just got like an ammo refill. I think I had an automatic or semi-automatic grenade launcher or something before. It'll be fine. Sure, it's as good. Oh god, the big missile. <laughs> okay, just gotta keep your distance. The explosive death, death of that enemy at no point has become less stressful. Oh my god, the worst enemies are on this floor, aren't they? Ah, stop it! Stop being so hard to hit! Freaky jumpy monkey man. I don't know if the developers started this, but people in the community refer to the tall lady as Karen. And I don't know if this is like, you know, what's the Karen equivalent? A Kyle or something like that? I don't, I don't know if anyone has named some of these monster types. Or if the devs, the devs probably have names. They refer to all, all of them as. But I like the idea of the community kind of like picking names for them to, to quickly refer to different enemy types. It does make things a lot handier when having discussions or commentating while playing. I figured I would just bait him in there and try and get some nice high damage attacks in. Really? This thing? All its health for crying out loud. Thought just a couple grenade lands would do the trick. This is... I have no concerns at this stage. Uh, the fact that you just fire fast with your gun, like, literally makes it better for dispatching that than, than anything else. I like the way that that ended up blowing up a bunch of pots. Oh god, his eyeballs. Both of them. Less helpful than it could have been. The missile, but it's still satisfying. That's just fake dog shit, isn't it? <laughs> like a, a le legitimately like a joke item in this game. I'm trying to I'm trying to almost lay those like a trap, like a mine that he then has to like run into and like will hurt himself with. Stay away from me. Yeah, the the rate of firing spawned in at like the same it's just fast enough to knock back the Karen enemy. Crap. Alright, this is gonna get tough. I basically have to get it to drop the second it raises. Oh, barely. Gunpowder increases the size of explosions. Much better than finding poop. Which would have been nothing, really. Would not have enjoyed that at all. More of you. Trying to save the the very limited ammo I have in that grenade launcher. Figured I could just take that on regular weapon. Balls. I have so much money. Just buy everything, probably. Reveal the location of secret rooms. Penetrating eyes shoot through things. Increase max health. Reveal the entire map. I think buying everything from one witch does something. So I'm going to try... 
Maybe not. Maybe I've already done that once and it just earned an achievement or something. That might be all I have in mind. This is a deadly floor. The, oh, okay, the, the penetrating eye is incredibly helpful for enemies like that that dart around so much. Agile enemies, they kind of grouped together a little bit. It was vastly helpful. I think some, a little bit of screen shake is starting, so. <laughs> there he was, just literally a second after I said. Okay, bring it on. I'm ready for you, Piro. Oh god, I grenaded him into myself. Do you know what? The grenade might actually be terrible against this enemy. <laughs> Instead, I'll save it for when he's no longer on his ball. Oh, he's so difficult to, like, jump around. I think I just spike braceleted him, and it actually did a ton of damage. It wasn't just, like, one 15 damage thing. So that makes it, like, at least notably useful... Yeah, I knocked him off there all the all together intentionally, super intentionally by by getting hit. Oh, there goes my grenades. Big baby, big cry baby. He's waking me out. Ah, oh, don't run into my corner. It's my corner. I've claimed it. Jeez. Okay, things are going well. Not as well as I wanted them to. It was. We experienced a peak. We're in a little bit of a valley. Things could definitely get worse. Tiny bit nervous. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for a higher difficulty. One thing at a time here, please. There's a secret room over here, so I think I might as well run straight to the hat. Thank you, giant missile. <laughs> Love to see it. Uh, just, just money? All right, it's not like money is invaluable. I just kind of, kind of was holding out hope for a little bit more. Oh man, the the penetrating shot is crazy strong in this game, and if I could layer that together with a few other things, it also makes pot killing much better. There's some synergies that would just be so wild with that. Shotgun, mini shotgun, flamethrower, laser machine gun. Nah. Thanks, but no thanks. I'll, I'll be fine without. Now so much of my strategy is revolved around lining things up. I like when they both die at the same exact time like that. It makes it feel like I'm handling things mega efficiently. Well, I'm really just getting a lot of these rooms with one singular rat boy. It's just weird to, to see similar, if not the same, layout that frequently. Yeah. Feels good to kill that so effectively. Those spiders are annoying. Bullets travel further. Destroying weapons heals you. Buying three items from the witch on the same floor gives you money, health, and ammo back. Damn it, I should have bought that first. Unless it still counts a little bit, you know? Money, health, ammo. I guess the ammo is nothing right now. But, you know, I got other things for it. The map, don't really need it. <sighs> Maybe better ways to spend my money, but that will hopefully benefit me longer term. Especially since I'm going to be looping, right? So, I, realistically, if I build up enough money and everything, I'm scared. <laughs> Just try to hide. There's too many enemies stacked up all at once there. Yeah, realistically, I should get the benefit out of the points card a couple times. Come on, he's stuck in the corner there. Jeez, whatever, you do your own thing. I'll focus on clearing these enemies out. Now I can worry about you. That's absurd. Well, after a minute or something, the door is open. Because I am not... I see no need. I see no need to risk that. 
Although I can, you know, I can time it based on, like, the fact that he really attacks, and then takes a break, and then he attacks, and then takes a break. Oh, I, I shoved him even further into the corner. There it is. Never encountered that before. The game has fail-safes, though. The doors do just open after a certain amount of time. Oh, that high distance. That's great to have. Oh, but I lured that guy to landing on top of the thing that I couldn't shoot him on, so that wasn't very helpful. There we go. And fake poo! I got the gunpowder and the poo. I can't mush them together to make something new. That's gross. I don't need to go mushing things in into poo. Thank you, Rocket. Yeah, it actually like pushed them closer together, which was a little helpful. That's like the breaking pots one, I think. Like you break pots by touching them. Which could help incidentally, but it's one of the lamer items. Because you end up risking so much with, like, you just will get hurt a fifth of the time, a tenth of the time, however often those leeches spawn. Yeah, it's, it says it's an aura, so it's not even, like, near. I think you literally have to touch. Oh, God. He kind of got stuck on the pot there while trying to ram jam me, so that's... That was lucky. Those guys are still tough, but they don't freak me out as much as they once did. You just gotta hit them at that low point, try and stick with them for the, the first, like, initial jump they make. Do that, like, twice. Fighting two of them makes it a little harder, so you gotta pick a target and try not to get, like, cornered. So close. I have to assume. <laughs> There's no, like, health bar. More. Try to stay back. I'll be curious. I'll be curious to learn more about the lore. Assuming there is a lore. Like, assuming that at some point the game will teach me. Machine gun, why there's a lab, why there's these rat experiments, how that resulted in chunks. I have to assume it is eventually part of the game once you start clearing more levels. Oh, his little sitting pose is like his jumping pose. So I wonder if the elevator raising registered as him jumping, and that's part of why he stuck that pose. I, this will be a perfect room to fight chunks. Oh, we, I got pushed out. Whatever, this room is just as good. I don't know if he has more health the more times you knock him out or anything like that. The jumping over him is the exact thing I'm trying not to do. But sometimes he kind of zigzags you in a weird way. Oh my god, and I can't seem to bait him into swinging as much as I want. There we go. I just gotta I just gotta be riskier. The tiniest the tiniest bit riskier. Not even that much. But it's really easy to get nervous when he's closing in on you and, and, and then decide you're gonna bail. And then when you wig out and panic like that, it's usually when he gets a deadly strike. Oh nothing. Alright. Boss it is then. I'll go full machine gun blast, full cookies. I'm just gonna hide out in this little corner. I'm all good, we're good. I really feel like this guy's one of the easier bosses. It's like just very, he, he telegraphs so much where his next attack is coming from. Honestly, it, it feels like all the bosses could use a buff and be a little stronger, but... Oh, come on, man. Uh, but 
that's coming from someone who's been exclusively playing the game on normal difficulty. I imagine at higher difficulties it feels less comfortable and less simple. Every day, once a day, give yourself a present. All right. We'll have a, a selection of items to load up on. And we can start our loop, potentially our first loop. There's something a little satisfying, a little exciting about that. I think the loop, not literally, but effectively jumps you up a, a difficulty level. Things have more health, they cost more money, yada yada yada. So it, it does end up being, it should be harder, even though we have, you know, more things. I'm going to hang on to the machine gun, I think. No. Do you know what's probably worth it is to take the money? Yeah, might as well. Big spender, when a weapon runs out of ammo, you can continue firing using money instead. Psh, that's kind of cool to have. I'll pick it up. Why not? <laughs> the literal chainsaw there. That's kind of funny. Well, I also have my own. Apparently, they're a popular item. Probably other points than the last run or two where I should have been destroying items and forgot to do so. Move faster, but you'll be more slippery. I don't really like that. Take Taking damage gives you money. The breeze pods, which look like an air pod. Nightcore everything. This is like, I think it makes the music faster. It's something minuscule like that. It's like a goofy little bonus thing. And I'll take the ambrosia. I'll collect all the money, all the ammo. 1,000 ammo for the chainsaw. A little excessive. But heck, I got the points card. I probably sh I don't even know. I might have been full health. I already forget what the other thing was that I could have bought. I feel like it was something I didn't care about. Oh, you thought you could get away from me, did ya? Did you? Time to loop. That's, yeah, that, okay, that's confirmation. That's the first time I've actually done it, which is a little surprising. I can't tell if the music is different because it's looped or if that's my Nightcore Breeze Pods. Air Pods, Breeze Pods, silly stuff. It's totally from the Breeze Pods. I, I dig it. Everything's more expensive. I'm not gonna use melee weapons. I'm not really, yeah, nothing, nothing I really want from you. Weird that she specifically stockpiled a combination of things to benefit melee weapon use. Just seeing them layered together like that is kind of funny. I, I'll take an agility as well. I feel pretty slow majority of the time. Are there three secret rooms? Oh my God, oh God too fast that's just like I didn't I didn't even realize that many maybe more spawn on on looped runs like maybe the floor is bigger it must be because the first floor is usually relatively small all right so whatever item is giving me secret room uh, lo locating abilities I, I know that I picked that up I forget which specific item did it it was pretty early on the wait on the on the map all maps okay so it's not it's not like tied to a the fact that i'm on floor one or anything like that i'll i'll, I'll take it i dig it all the extra hearts means i'm i can just load up on money which is sick and i should make off with a lot of stuff here i didn't really mean to pick that up whatever i'm just going to turn them into money then Seeing as things are more expensive, that becomes crazy valuable. Thank you, random rocket. <laughs> it's incredibly useful when there's only one thing in the room. That's definitely when you get the most out of that one. All right, this went so poorly last time. Super doable. I can't believe how badly I struggled. Second chance makes you explode upon death. If your explosion kills an enemy, you receive one HP. That's absurd. It's so seemingly difficult to, like, get the most out of, uh, the rusty nails and melee weapon thing, but 
I can still do it for the money. We ended up with a, a specialty champ monster. That's really tough when those spawn in the challenge rooms. I honestly don't know if I've seen them spawn anywhere other than the challenge room. That might be here only, actually, because there's another one. It's tough when this thing's as fast as it is. It's stressing me out. There's no reason not to pick up an item, so... Ah! It's a little sooner than I expected, honestly. I might still just try and knock him down again. Three chunks knocks down in, in one's run. I got so much health at this point. I'm feeling cocky. Running past him like that is so stupid. I deserved to get hit on that one. It's funny hearing the slightly sped up chunk song, because it's already like a faster paced song. There we go, give me money. Not that much. Notably, that might be from looping to receive less money from chunks. Maybe you receive less money overall. And things cost more. So you get a, a, a few trade-offs, drawbacks going on simultaneously. Cornered by these guys. Take advantage of my range. Hey, that was handy to accidentally trigger a flashbang. 20 bucks. <laughs> it's just a, a very lame find, isn't it? At some point, I'll need to afford something, and having that money will be valuable. And I don't mean to turn my nose up at it, but, you know just a, a notably not very exciting secret to find in your secret room. The time commitment be, becomes a little bit more. For, from a game that typically is like quite short feeling, 30 minute runs, suddenly you try to go for a loop, you're like looking at probably minimum an hour. Want it to go well. You don't want to put in that kind of time and then screw it up. I don't know if there there's probably achievements all related to like loop three times or like and then at that point, yeah, that's no wonder people want wanted the mid run saving or you know complete a, a regular run within 20 minutes, complete a looped run within 30 or something like things to encourage you to rush the game a little bit. At some point, when I turn my attention to intentionally targeting earning new achievements, then yeah, I'll really have to read up and potentially strategize just the tiniest bit. No, thank you, Mr. Moth. I will not. He still got me. I thought I, I thought I could, I thought I had a sense of the distance of the swoop and could effectively avoid it. The moth got nerfed right ahead of release. And during testing, it was kind of agreed that they were like the most annoying enemy. And the main thing, they were changed slightly to be less aggressive, but also were just removed from challenge rooms because they just ruined challenge rooms. Very much a, a Zelda looking bomb. Oh, no, there's confirmation that you can get, uh, like, champion-style enemies outside of the challenge rooms. Because that's absolutely what that was. Nice. Money, please. That's, uh, I, I don't, I, that's gonna be notably, oh god, it got... I hate that when it gets rocketed into me. I'm just saying, I, I had a long ways to go before finding my way to that secret room. Having the map to reveal it is so useful. For me, especially, having been bad at identifying them. But it's kind of crazy when you know, like, you're like, oh, what am I, like 10, 12 rooms away from even making it to that still? Hmm. Stupid damage to take, but that was absolutely. I really need to be making better use of the flashbangs. As soon as a room has pots like that, I should go do it. 
I'll take the melee weapon. I got the rusty nail. I think that'll actually be quite useful. Gemini. I don't know if there's one for literally every Zodiac the way there is in, like, Isaac. But I am a Gemini. So it's... Oh, I'm all excited about it all of a sudden. Alright, you boys stay back. Oh god, it's not going well. I'm so cornered. I don't know how I made it past there without taking damage. That was nuts. I'm so much better off using this for the sake of this challenge room because of my the the shooting through things. I thought the extra damage of the melee weapon and the, the rusty nail would make a difference. This is definitely how I need to be going about this room. It's the only way I have a chance. Five-ish seconds, we can do it. Ha ha ha! Chance to fire double the normal numbers of projectiles while shooting. I think... Okay, you could see it take place. At one point, they kind of stacked on top of each other and you couldn't really see. Oh, come on, man. That's... That's notably quite often. You don't want to lay off for a little bit? I'm I'm going to do something about that. I vote no. No, thank you. Maybe, maybe I'll... I don't know if I would be able to do the achievement that's like knock out chunks on every floor. Fuck. Alright, well I'm officially running. <laughs> because I, I looped a run, so I don't know if it... If each floor only counts as happening once or twice or and how I have to manage chunks within that. Oh, that jump was a risk and I knew it. Oh, thank you, Flashbang. I'm really, like, trying to find a store here to gain a little bit of reprieve. I was trying to grab that Flashbang. Wasn't worth it. Didn't want to push it too far. I might just end up killing him on accident at this point while I'm trying to kill other enemies in, in these rooms here. Oh! I did not know the teleporter rooms were, were a temporary safety. He wasn't just waiting out there for me. He'll be back. He'll be back very, very shortly. I'm certain of that. Pushing for that secret room off to the side. That was stupid. Stupid of me. If there's an Ambrosia for sale, I'm doing it. But I can't even find any shop. Oh, there's no shops on loops, maybe. Smashed Pumpkin summons jack-o'-lantern buddies to attack enemies. How often? Oh, there he is. There's my buddy. Oh, God. Too many... Too many things... It's like the double spike trap. Oh my god. Oh, he's dead. I thought I couldn't attack him while he was stunned or something. I was getting screwed there. Or it was just like a power he had that made him a little that notably difficult to deal with. I should be playing less risky. Looped runs are too big of an investment to just like dick around and, and risk. That's... It's just stupid damage to take. Cornered myself fully. There you go. Trying to flashbang down on my level. There is a shop. Oh, good. Thank goodness. Ambrosia. I don't even... I need to do it before anything else. I got an achievement for, for being a hoarder. <laughs> Chance for you to knock back. Chance for shots to knock enemies further back. You know what? That's better than I thought it was going to be. Chance to fire a burst of rockets when entering a room. And, oh, the king's crown. I already have a chance to fire one huge missile. So I could really, I could double up on that and have some fun with it. And I'm going to buy the king's crown. Especially knowing that, like, you know, I'm about to get the health. And I'll just turn that into money and everything else that I was going to get through that. All right. Big swing in my favor there. So long, jerk. I... I'd never found the key. I didn't think there was, like, more corners left to be explored. Well, I can take my time for a wee second. Wait. 
Did I use the key on accident? I must have, like, grazed it or something, unlocked it, and then not. Yeah, well, I'll be fine. Oh, yeah, okay, gotta keep moving still, or else he will just teleport on top of you. Can confirmation on that. Uh, jerk. This one's a tough one. As a boss, I don't think he's that hard. And if you're like not paying attention or you get a little bit spun around, next thing you know, he will catch you off guard. You can't hurt him when he's crying. Oh god. Tight, tight quarter. Where the shit is he? I should be able to just like attack him even when he's invisible. There, 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 there. The bonus health is noticeable, I think. Am I on the first floor of the loop? That that would be insane. No, couldn't be. Couldn't be. I've been playing for like 20 minutes since the loop began. That would be forever. I mean, I know everything will have higher health and be more difficult and take longer, but that feels like a lot. I'm getting money for getting hurt, but like... Not a lot, and obviously I'm not, I don't want that. I don't always get it either, it's a chance-based thing. What the shit, this boss is so much harder on this difficulty. All right, so I'm gonna assume bosses are crazy hard on higher difficulties as well. That had to have been the second floor. Now we're going up to the Sanctum, right? I can't, I can't hack it if that's just one floor of the loop. I'm not gonna give up, man. I'm pushing through. Alright, third floor, yes. Oh, immediate secret rooms all tucked away together over there. Oh my god. There's like champion style walker guys. They don't even know what. Maybe they just do more damage? It's not like I can actually hurt them. Oh, they're not that tough, but it gets... They're stressful. I don't like fighting enemies that you can't hurt, because it just becomes stress. Busted microwave makes a lot of your bullets slightly radioactive. It, it looks like half of them? All of your bullets. All. Of, why did I read it as a lot of... See, oh, uh, there it was. There, I, I mentioned it, I think, in a different, in my previous run there, that you can cheese those worms by leaving and coming back, and you have a chance for them to respawn as a different color worm. There it was in action. I imagine that'll get buffed out, because it's a little overpowered. Modding kit, increased damage and fire rate for every weapon besides your default weapon. Dang. I mean, still useful, but, like, if that applied to the default weapon, then probably overpowered. You literally never need to touch another weapon again. There was like a bunch of black projectiles and that must have been the like the pocket rocket coming out. He got he got uh, stunned in mid jump there. It's hard to connect with. There's the big rocket. Shit's going a little bonkers when I enter rooms with this number of weapons that or items that affect things when entering a room. I dig it though. I like how excessive it's becoming. Strength. I'll think about buying other things. Maybe. Not immediately. Really frees up the mind when you don't have to uh, keep an eye out for every single secret room and that you just know that you will see them when they come. Increase accuracy. Shoot further, no. Extra jump, no. I will take better accuracy. Really help my line uh, bullets like line up rather than the spray and pray sort of insanity that otherwise takes place. Okay, if I really hug the outside until they jump, because then all of a sudden you don't know where they're going to pop out. But I just want to try to not get anywhere near this guy until the bunnies are dealt with. I would say that went beautifully. That was like exactly how I wanted that to play out. So 
top, top notch result. Split, splitting up on. It kind of worked. Fuck. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. No, 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 no. Damn, damn you. I don't know. I couldn't decide if I should run back. I should have. I should have ran back to the shop. Shit. To, to keep chunks away from me for a minute. I'm doing it now. Even though it's like borderline too late. I didn't collect the money from that like I should have. 450. Crap. Oh, still not there. Figured I would destroy my bat and just... Duh! Instantly! Crap. I don't know. Do you know what? That I, I probably should have tried to fight him. I probably should have tried to kill him. Oh, that will be huge. Hugely important. Oh god, the bunnies were dead. I should have committed to shooting them more. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I don't know why he's attacking at such, a, at such a distance. Was there still one bunny left and I screwed that up a little bit? I think there was. Oh. Okay, come on down, man. <laughs> I can't explain how <laughs> stressful that was. Water. Now I'm all out. This is my fourth Ambrosia. One of them I needed notably less than the others. But we've, we've come too far. Uh, I'm most of the way through this floor. Just the lab after that. I ain't, I ain't risking it. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know what item that is. Just these little mask goobers. Oh, they're getting so close. And there's like a champ one, which I haven't seen before. Oh god, more of them. These things suck, man. I'm trying I'm trying to like spin to keep up with them. Jeez, I, I couldn't I couldn't deal with that at <laughs> the third time. It's a stressful enemy. Thank you, Pumpkin Bomb. Evil's Bane prevents chunks from showing up on each floor for an additional minute. Thank you. I don't know why it's this weird little bunny in a cup or whatever it is that I'm looking at. But I'll take it. Because it seems like on the loop he shows up faster. So that was I don't know, they are they are also just big levels. And so obviously there's a lot of opportunity for him to show up because you're spending time having to deal with all this. Push through. Secret room up ahead. Thank you for the health. <laughs> it really tried to like follow along with them. It's it's tricky. The cube. I'm just taking the money off that one. I don't know what this insistence is on clearing every floor. Like, I should probably just move on, but I guess I know Chunks is dealt with, and so a lot of other considerations can become secondary because of that. Hopefully this goes better than The Resident. I would say that was, like, one of the most I've struggled with a boss. Oh, I, like, cornered myself. Stop it. Stop your bouncing. Incessant. So difficult to get the shots off on. You monster. This uh, it would have been a terrible boss for the cube anyway. Like, I really... I don't know, that's not true, because it attacks from top down. And so in that sense... I wouldn't have to jump to try and attack because it would always just attack vertically and I think that would actually that maybe that would have made this guy easier for those few odd brief moments where he kind of stands still. Whoa. Laboratory. Almost through a loop. The loops are tough. The loops are notably tough. And I'm still in the unnormal difficulty. Good God.
Having the the secret room finder has somehow become one of the single like most defining things of this run. It's helped out such an insane amount. Oh, I didn't expect that to be a I didn't expect that to be filled with anything. It's a slow emergence. Here I am saying these things are not that bad. Now all of a sudden looping, he got more health. Becomes a bit more of a pain. Laser machine gun, I'll consider it. I won't use it right away. I'll destroy it if I need to. I got the boss room when I need it. Maybe, maybe I do rush it a little bit without clearing every single room <laughs> as soon as I find what I need. It's nice to keep an eye out for like a shop or an item room, hit up some of the secret rooms and stuff because I know I'll get more out of it. But at this point, the longer I play, the more of a risk it is more than anything. So I'd rather not play too fast and loose with that. Get back right off, spiders. With the fire rate, the fire range and everything. Really helps out in just like, I don't think I want to get involved. No, not today. Back here is fine. Oh, I was trying to avoid landing in the goop. Landed on the monster instead. Son of a beasting. That was weirdly not a good floor. Notable poor decisions, stupid damage to take. What does the green candle do? Cast green flames that circle around you. It's kind of like a green shell thing a little bit. Fires meat. Gross. I... Let's try it. Let's, uh, let's sell this guy. It'll be worth more money than the meat shooter costs. <laughs> it's gross as hell. It's made out of meat and it shoots meat. Sure. Why not? You know, test it out. Challenge room. Oh, I don't remember what fun sticks do. And uh, I'm gonna do it anyways. It's just a little bit of like, uh, t t why not challenge yourself? These are kind of high health enemies. Uh, but the the piercing shots. Took like a full 15 seconds, which does not put me on track to complete this challenge room at all. Come on, man. All right, all right, all right. Ten. Oh, right. There's only two. There's only two on this level. Oh, I was really thinking I didn't have a chance. <laughs> I don't remember what fun sticks do. I, I'm better off finding rooms that have less obstacles and pieces of furniture and stuff. So I'm deciding I, I ain't putting up with it. I ain't gonna take it. Must learn to just let him wind up. But he really just gets so up in your shit before he winds up sometimes and it gets so stressful. Uh, at least he dropped a heart. Proof that even a horrible rat monster can have a heart. I know Chunks is dead. Backtrack, maybe heal up if I can. Visit that secret room. Secret rooms, multiple of them. Try and get the most out of that. Uh, too much stuff happening. <laughs> I didn't even like s those extra little crab enemies, whatever they are, popping in. Wigged me out really hard. Oh god, there's too much goop. Gotta deflate these gross little pimplers. Still no. 
No secret rooms yet, I mean, or shops or anything. I don't know what I should expect to find. I got the money for it when it does come up, though. <laughs> Something satisfying about having 999 gold like that. And I've ruined it instantly. Oh, there was a shop literally right there. Well, let's go invest in ourselves a little bit. Ball and chain. I won't get knocked back as much. That would actually be helpful. Ah, another achievement for buying too much stuff. <laughs> what what was this one actually? I don't I didn't even read the other one. Collect 35 plus items in a single run. Bullets are reflected on impact. That one is awesome. I don't want the tax forms. I will take the map strictly so that I can get all the freebies from that. Although that money, you know, I could have saved that money because there is another shop immediately outside of the, the main, like that last floor on, up on the balcony. So I could have, I could have potentially. The mirror was a good investment, I think. I'm immediately seeing the benefits of that. So much health in those stupid spiders. The crappy thing? I have somewhere to be in like, I, like I gotta leave in like 20 minutes. So I have this like personal clock hanging over me. There are saved runs, that's like a thing now. But you know, I would rather just deal with this rather than having to, to fire up a recording with like next to no time left. And it, I, sh I, sh I can do it. I can do it. There's so little left to worry about. It shouldn't be a problem. It seems like there's so little left to worry about. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't open up some crazy new anything by doing this loop and I'll be totally screwed and I don't even know it. I don't even know if this run is that overpowered. Like, this game is built in a way that leads to crazy overpowered runs. Enemies have a tiny chance to drop I, weapons. That's pretty cool. Seeing as how weapons are so infrequently doled out. Oh, I haven't even used the meat gun yet. Let's just fire it a few times. It all just turns into cookies anyways. <laughs> meat cookies. That's really gross. But in, in, a, in another way, if you really think about it, isn't that kind of just what a hamburger patty is? Yeah, think about that. Think about eating your meat cookie sandwich the next time you have a burger. <laughs> Maybe that'll make you rethink some things. I don't care what you, what you do with that knowledge. Is it strong? It's strong. The meat gun is strong. It's also funny to use it against an enemy that is basically just a, a pile of meat. So there's that. I like how my jack-o'-lantern was kind of just like hanging out waiting for him to come back. All oh, those ricocheting bullets. I have not even used that much ammo. See the, the way that he like hovers around following the boss around? So helpful. What a great guy. That little Jack is. Oh, it's funny because the lead dev of the game is Jack. <laughs> yeah, that Jack, also a great guy. Was I not losing ammo? I could have sworn that 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 like my ammo went back up. <sighs> so I got somewhere in the ballpark of about 15 minutes to deal with all this. Obviously not looping the run again. It's wild and ridiculous that you can, if you were so inclined. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am just here for the pots. Sweet, sweet, tasty pots. Give me all you got. Yum, yum. I'm happy to be at full health. That's a big deal. Hopefully I get handed out something helpful. Holy Aura makes enemy projectiles slow down as they approach you. That does seem helpful. The Magnum 
accurate and high damage but fires slowly i liked the meat gun i am definitely sticking with the meat gun over that it's all leading up to this isn't it marshmallow move speed uh maybe chance for shots to burn that's good evil's bane doesn't do anything for me right now I'll take the move speed, sure, why not? I got a little bit of money left to spend. Now we're ready. Now. It's all led to this. It actually is kind of crazy. It definitely took an over an hour. Over an hour to get to this point. So looping a run adds a lot. Yikes. I also haven't had water in a while. I chugged it all earlier with my nerves. It's, it's noticeable. It's what I'm getting at. The dry mouth is real. Stress. We can do it, though. The Chunks boss. Killed him a few times. He'll literally... He'll basically just have more health, I assume. I don't picture him having, like, anything else that'll make this, like, a notably... Extra difficult thing. I got the meat gun. I got the jack-o'-lantern. I got double shots, bouncing shots, radioactive, piercing. Piercing's not going to do much for me. Accuracy. You know, it's all there. Oh, I had that item that makes your secondary weapon better. <laughs> the, the, like, modified weapon 2. So that is, like, a big one to have. I will have knocked out chunks, like, so many times within this run if this also is, is included in that. And just like a personal counter, I guess. I honestly a little bit don't know how I haven't taken damage because this shit's a little bit chaotic. I think the, the fun sticks are making all the goofy colors on the floor. It's an item that definitely does more than just that, though. But that's definitely like one of the things that it does. Oh my god. It's a freaky hand. Oh, I'm almost out of my good weapon. There we go. All right. If you were playing on a higher difficulty and started looping runs and everything, that would make a crazy difference. Because, like, normally I kill him in, like, 30 seconds and it feels too fast, you know? You're like, wow, Chunks is a joke. Took a full minute on a loop, throw in another loop, throw in a higher difficulty. Yeah, that boss battle would actually become pretty devastating. I don't know what happens at the end there. Lewis... Who I'm guessing, I'm guessing is named after Newgrounds or Louis Castanon, who just is like an amazing artist and animator and has been like a very active Newgrounds member for a long time. And I know the Milk Bar lads, you know, they'll have like passing uh, interactions with him over on Twitter and, and things like that. And so I kind of assume, kind of assume that's where that name was pulled from. I don't know if everyone else is named after people. I don't even know. A hundred percent if he is. There we go. One more character. Only one left to unlock. But I haven't beaten the game as most characters. I've beaten it as literally only three. I got four more to go and then a fifth one. Jeez. Jeez. There's a lot more to this game still isn't there glad that worked out thank you all so much for watching i got i gotta go I'm not wearing a watch <laughs> i'll see you all again soon